so about two months ago I uploaded a video called the worst day of my life and if you haven't seen that video I'll have a clickable annotation right about here if you haven't seen that video already I actually recommend that you don't watch it because I might kill the vibe of this video because that video was a pretty sad video and those were some dark times but today is a glorious fucking day and this is why <laughs> Yeah, today's been pretty good. I once again have no arms in GTA 5. The main reason this is making me so fucking happy is because now I can transfer my Xbox One character instead of my Xbox 360 character, which means I get to keep my invisible arms, but I also get to keep my higher rank, my extra cash, and whatever cars I have. It is kind of sad that I would take my invisible arms rather than my money and my rank and stuff, but I'm an addict, what can I say? But this time around, the glitch is even better because now I don't even have a chest. So I guess now I'm invisible arm and chest man. Now, I'm not making this video just to brag about how fucking awesome my character now looks again. I'm making this video so I can also show you guys how to go armless and chestless in GTA 5 and have twice as much swag as me. As you can see right now, my ugly fucking character has no arms or chest, but I'm gonna put some clothes back on and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the glitch from start to finish. I do have the outfit saved as invisible swag in case I ever fuck something up, but I honestly have no way of knowing if that will actually save the glitch. But fuck it, it's worth a shot. Ponson B's Pontona Drive. All right, you're gonna wanna go into a clothes store and browse tops. You're gonna wanna scroll on down to heist tops and then... Which one is it? Which jacket is it? Looks like I fucked it up. Let's see if I can get my outfit back. Hey, I fixed it. That's a fucking relief. You're going to want to browse tops and then go to suit jackets and then buy the gray scruffy jacket. This looks so disturbing, but from here you want to go to shirts and then buy the fruity plaid untucked shirt. Then finally, you want to go to utility vest and buy the stealth utility vest. Once you have all that stuff, you want to go to a fitting room so you can start doing the glitch. All right, so I went back to my apartment and now I'm going to go into my fitting room. Once you're in a fitting room, you want to go to change clothes and then go to tops suit jackets, and then put on a different suit jacket. Go down to shirts, and then put on the fruity plaid untucked shirt. And when you go back to suit jackets, and you go to put on the gray scruffy jacket, you'll see that you have invisible arms, but you're not gonna put it on just yet. Instead, you're gonna stay in the fitting room, and you're gonna pull up your phone. Instead, you're gonna pull up your phone and go to job list, and then make sure that you have a job from single player. I'm gonna do the invite from Gerald, but not quite yet. You're gonna go back on your phone and go to quick job, and then go to play random. And you have to do this kind of quickly, because it can be pretty tricky. Once you have the quick job up, you wanna accept it, pull up your phone again, and then go to job list and then accept that invite from single player. Then go to change clothes and then go back to outfits. Well, not outfits. Oh, boy. Uh, go back to tops, suit jackets, and then hover over this. And when it says it's downloading, you want to spam A or X if you're on PlayStation. It can take a while for the job to download, but you have to be patient. It's a pretty tricky method and it goes by fast. Oh, shit. I really hope I clicked A. Once you're at the job, you just want to back out and then you'll go back into the fitting room. Fuck yeah. I got really lucky that time around because for some reason I had a hard time doing this glitch at first. At this point in the glitch you have invisible arms and you don't have to do the next part of the glitch but if you want an invisible chest as well you can do this. All you have to do is change clothes again, go to tops and then utility vests, put on the stealth utility vest and then take it back off. And there you go. So that's how you do the invisible arms and invisible chest glitch on GTA. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, but I know for a fact it does work on next gen. As far as I know, this method for sure works on the Xbox One and the PS4. And I'm sorry if it doesn't work on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, but I'm pretty sure there are other tutorials out there that will show you how to do this glitch. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys later.